I always read your comments and take them very seriously. This one, I had to do it. So this is my new head. All right, guys, what's happening? Sean Ames here from Heart of America FPV. In case you didn't know, Mr. Shames is a big name in drone racing. Besides being a father of two beautiful kids, he is also a father of Freedom Spec, also a top tier racer, famous YouTube star, race organizer, frame designer, and Heart of America team captain. Some of you might wonder, who cares? In this case, Get the fuck out of here. So, every year, Mr. Shames makes a huge poll for all the drone racers visiting Malta GP Championship about all the gear they're using. For example, do you want to know which motors they're using if we exclude all the sponsored pilots? Or how many people using Express LRS or Crossfire or Flight One? But first, let me call my statistics expert. But the baby based on stochastical model correlation be between the assumptions can be defined with a high confidence that the, the median value residual regression shows that, that, that you, you are shit pilot! So Malta GP, I think, is the biggest drone racing league in the world and it's opened for everyone to take part in. Besides many little and medium sized events, it has two major events, the Malta GP International Open and Malta GP Championship. The league is mostly based in the United States, so these statistics could be different in your region. All right, let's dive deep into the numbers. So, in 2022 we had a little bit less pro pilots taking part in the event, but we had a little bit more sport pilots. What's really disappointing is that the number of guys who took part in this poll went down. This is bullshit. Come on guys, it's just a few clicks. We still have more than the half, so it's alright. So on the left side I'll be showing you guys the plots from 2021 and on the right side I'll be showing you the plots from 2022. There are a lot of plots, I'll show you the most interesting ones, but if you want to check all of them, there is a link in, in, the, in the description to these spreadsheets. So the frames. In 2021, 533 frames were like completely dominating the drone racing market. 70% of all people were on 533 frames. In 2022, it's still true, just, just a little bit less true. So the 533 market share went down to 53%. And the second place is suddenly DIN drones. They went up from 2% all the way up to 15 in 2022. So if you check the frame model, you'll see that 15% of DIN drones all flying Typhon frames designed by Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason is also sponsored by Dindrons. Look at this distinguished gentleman. And this is how to pronounce his frame name correctly, I, I had to ask him. Typhon. Typhon. But the most popular frame model is 533 light switch. It's actually 27% because there's also like light switch here, there's also light switch T700. I believe Switchback Pro Lite is a different frame. There are like too many variations of 533 frames. Fun fact, someone with a custom frame named it Rowdy Racer. So I had to ask AI to imagine it for me. Let's see, weird Rowdy Racer. All right, yeah, that's pretty rowdy. That's pretty rowdy. Yep. Interesting that about half of the people had some sort of sponsorship deals for the frame, so they're either getting them for free or with some discounts. And if we remove such sponsored pilots here on the left, then you'll see that 533 market share becomes way bigger, Dindron shrinks to 8%, and now we even see Open Racer 5.6%, which is like two people, yeah, not including myself, because Sadly, I missed these champs. But of course, 533 guys are sponsoring way more people because non-sponsored 533 pile is 22 and the total is 39. So it's like 17 people have some sort of a deal with 533. Now motors and as expected, 533 have a complete domination here. 56% in 2022 against 50% a year ago. Second place are Vanover Motors with 6 people and third place Team Motor with 5 people running them. Half of the pilots in the poll are hooked with some sort of a deal, sponsorship deal for the motors and if we remove all of them, then 533 share becomes even bigger, 62%. But don't let it fool you, they are still sponsoring the most pilots out there, I think for the motor is like 16 pilots. And looks like that's a good strategy. This video is turning into like 533 ode. That's interesting.
All right, so the motor size, sort of a standard one, 2207, 72% of people running them. Then 2207.5 is 17.8% running them. Then interesting also, two people running motor size IDK and one person running 2100 motor size. That must be the fastest one. The most popular motor KV is 1900 to 2000. The next one is 40% above 2000 KV. Interesting that if we check only sports class motor KV, then the crazy high KV above 2000 becomes way less popular, only like 13%. But if we check Pro Class Top 8 only, then all of them were running 2000 KV and up. It doesn't mean that everyone should go higher KV, of course not. I think it's more of a mental game for like a very fast pilots in Pro Class. I'm a Pro Class, but I'm definitely not Top 8, so I'm just not fast enough for this crazy high KV and I'm running 1960 with throttle cap. Don't you dare call me slow because then I'll be crying in the goggles so that nobody sees. Also interesting that in 2021 way less pilots were running crazy high KV above 2000. I think in, in some is like 14 or 12 percent. So every year we are slowly moving to higher and higher KV. Is it good? Let me know in the comments. The flight controller software, all of the pilots except one guy were running beta flight. And that one guy was running Falco X Flight 1. Somewhere very far away, there is pensive Preston sitting and giving a soft smile. Most of the guys are on Beta Flight 4.3. Four pilots are on Beta Flight 4.2, one guy is on Beta Flight 4.1, and one is testing Beta Flight 4.4, the unreleased version. The stack size, of course, the majority is running 20 by 20 stacks, and um, only two pilots running 30 by 30. The stack brand, Foxier, is the winner here for both flight controllers and ESCs. The second place is Hobby Wing, followed by T Motor. And if we check non sponsored pilots, then Foxier goes on the second place, pretty close with Hobby Wing still. But then Foxier stays number one for the flight controller choices. Now that's interesting radio control link. Immersion RC Ghost stays number one and actually gains a few percent. TBS Tracer still stays number two, but now is being followed very close by Express LRS because a year ago Express LRS weren't that popular. So Express LRS, good job. That's nice. So radio controller, 82% radio master against 61 a year ago. A year ago, Free Sky were 20%. Now it's down to 10%. TBS radio, 9% a year ago, and now it's down to one. Just, just one person. Radio controller model, of course, the most popular one is TX16S, and there are like a bunch of variations. And if we're not talking about Radio Master, then the second place, sort of on the second place, is QX7. 3% of people running it. I know Matt. Mad Max is still running QX7, the guy who invented Matt's boobs. It sounds weird. That's a drone racing element, not what you thought. So propellers in 2022 looks like Gemfan is stealing the win from HQ Pro. So Gemfan 61%, HQ only 30%. But if we count only non-sponsored pilots with the propellers, then the battle becomes a little bit more close. Gemfan goes down to 51%, 52 and HQ Pro goes up to 38%. The batteries, Tattoo market share grows from 53% all the way up to 66%. Now we know why Gen's A Tattoo batteries are always out of stock, because you damn racers buying them all all the time. The second place is split evenly between Dogcom and 533 batteries. Now the goggles. This is interesting. Orca went all the way from 21% to 50% taking the win over Fat Shark. So second place is Fat Shark, third place is Sky Zones, and fourth place is HD0. Four people running HD0 goggles even before they were released. Remember, this champs was two months ago. Cheaters, now VTXs. This is important because it also shows how many people running analog, how many people running HD0, and ta-da-da-dum! Eight people running HD0 in 2022. 
and eight people running HD0 a year ago. So I guess in a year from now, we're gonna see how the situation gonna change with a new HD0 goggles release. This is a recent hot topic and I almost forgot to show you how many people are overcharging. So 22% of people charging to 4.2 volts per cell. 10% of people are overcharging to 4.25, bad boys. 8% of people are overcharging to 4.3. 30% of people are overcharging to HV, 4.35. 25% of people were overcharging to 4.36 up to 4.4. 3% of people overcharging even higher all the way up to 4.41 up to 4.45. And one very nasty guy, who would that be? Overcharging more than 4.5 volts per cell. Funny fact, one guy was undercharging less than 4.2 volts. And I don't think it was accidentally because, well, he put this value in the poll. And just a reminder, guys, this statistics is not a direction for your action. Don't overcharge your batteries. If one guy was overcharging to like 15,000 volts, doesn't mean you need to do it. You you have your own head. I, I even have two. That was overcharging statistics for, for everyone. Now I really want to check how it looks for the sports class. So in sports class only 8% overcharge it for more than 4.35. Now FPV cameras, Foxeer is the winner with even more market share than a year ago. Now it's 75, a year ago it was 61. Camera angle, the majority of people 58% running 46 to 50 degrees camera angle. 10% crazy 10% are running more than 55 degrees camera angle. That's crazy. Antenna polarizations. So two people were running dipole antennas. That's nasty. That's nasty. Now maybe one of the most interesting parts, the sponsorship deals. So about half of the people are paying full price for the frames. 37% are getting some sort of a discount for the frames and only 14% are getting free frames. 41% of racers are getting free props of racers who came to champs and also who took part in the poll. Funny the distribution for ESCs it's pretty much matching with the with the frames. That's kind of weird. Only 6% of people are getting free batteries. 38% are getting battery with some discount and uh, about 56% are paying full price. 8% of people getting flight controllers for free and 12% uh, of people are getting motors for free. That'd be nice to have all of it for free. Now, the most average racing drone 2022 based on this survey. Frame 533 light switch, motors 533 heads up 2207 1960 kV, stack Foxier 20 by 20, props gem fun, Foxier Predator Nano V5 camera, most likely it's Foxier Predator Nano V5, or it could be 533 camera, which is also Foxier, basically the same camera, different colors. Immersion RC, RC Link, VTX, and VRX, tattoo batteries. Radio Master TX16S, Orca goggles, and camera angle 46 to 50 degrees, 6S battery 1300 to 1400 milliamps, overcharged to 4.35 volts per cell, and Foxier antennas. There are way more plots here in these spreadsheets. Again, links in the description. It's a little bit messy here, but if you like to dig in the numbers, you'll figure it out. But that is it for today, guys. Big thanks again to Mr. Sean Ames for making this survey. And uh, see you in the next video, if I'm not lazy. Control the airwaves, no negotiation I
rolling. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. <laughs>